When Machiko Taushoku, the daughter of the Piscani Corporation's head honcho, is abducted by the pigs of the apocalypse and forced indignantly into the gamescape, Zitz leaps into actions, fists a fly flame. Fists a flame. That's how it's spelled. Fists a flame. But even even capitalized. For a battle toad, there's too much pork to pummel, and after a beastly bashing, he janes Machiko as the Parker's prisoner. Rash and Pimple are soon to soar onto the scene. N, not and, N, with Rash looking lean N green and Pimple acting mean, it's obvious that a rescue is about to begin. Only it ain't gonna be CZ, because the pigs have taken them to the dingy, dingy dark tower. It's spelled. Home of the sinister slyless Volkmeyer and his equally evil partner, the deadly Dark Queen. Their malevolent minds have found a way to leak their computerized world into ours, with the fiendish intention of creating a worldwide gamescape over which they would rule. Wow, the alphabet threw up all over the back of this box. This is Battletoads in Battle Maniacs, developed by Rare, published by Trade West, released in 1993. It's part of the Battletoads game franchise thing. Uh, this is released exclusively in Brazil for the Master System. Uh, released around the same time as Battletoads and Double Dragons. This is an installment in the series, of course. Uh, Battletoads and Battle Maniacs, action platform beat em up that takes place in the Gamescape, a fictional virtual world where computer generated villains created by Silas Volkmeyer run amok. We control either Rash or Pimple or Zitz for the first little while, uh, depending on which controller you have plugged in and have longer health meters than in previous games. Unlike previous entries, however, each character has their own combo attacks and special moves. Pimple, for example, can use the BT Big Hammer special move at the end of a combo, where in an exaggerated hammer protrudes from his fist, instantly killing his foes. Rash, on the other hand, can use the classic Big Boot Block move from the original, and where his foot transforms into a massive spiky boot. Was first released on the Super Nintendo in North America in 1993, Europe in 93, and Australia in 93, and Japan in 94 for the SNES. The game was ported to the Master System in 94 by Cyrox and was going to be published in Europe by Virgin Interactive with a stated 94 launch date. However, the European release was pulled out on the last moment by unknown reasons, as with the game already having been released by British, reviewed by British Video Game Press. It was released in a barely finished state by Tech Toy in Brazil in 1996. It's an unpolished build of the game. Some stages don't have music, and there are minor glitches and choppy scrolling floor in the bonus stage and invisible obstacles in the turbo tunnel. That's what you need in your turbo tunnel, invisible, invisible obstacles. Game Rankings gave the Super Nintendo port an average 78 based on two reviews. Respectively, the staff of Games Radar ranked the Super NES version as the 30th, best, 30th excuse me, best game on the platform, praising it for having some of the best graphics on the system and offering one hell of an experience, stating, The bosses are massive, the music is rocking, and the ever-present 90s attitude is in full effect. Who cares if it's a cynical knockoff of TMNT when it looks and plays this good? In 2013, Arcade Sushi ranked it as the fourth best retro, retro game in the beat em up genre. I am still getting all those extra letters from last time. Andy Smith from Sega Power gave the Master System version 72%, pra praising the game for its very types of action and occasional humorous touches, but criticizing it for its mediocre graphics, button stabbing tendencies, and its high difficulty. Smith's most common complaint was the game's lack of originality, explaining that Battletoads has shades of original originality, Battle Maniacs just has shades. He described the game as showing signs of rapid aging. So I didn't play super far into it. Uh, I don't particularly love Battletoads, but you know what? It plays good. It looks good. I have no complaints about anything that happened in the game. It's just not... You know, we've talked about this when we talked about other beat-em-ups. I like them, but I, I need them to be half as long as they are, because they do get boring. Battletoads, at least the first one, did keep it interesting, throw in all the different, like the snake level and the turbo tunnel and all that other stuff. Does keep it interesting, but again, it just goes on for just a little too long. 